Still not tired of that guitar riff. Welcome back to F-Zero X. Uh, we've done the Jack Cup and the Queen Cup, so now we get to do the King Cup. I don't know what it is with F-Zero and Kings, but the King Cup is once again a headache. Mostly because it starts with Fire Field. Why would you start with Fire Field? Anyway, the machine we're using is the Queen Meteor. Uh, you'll notice that it has the same stats as the King Meteor, aside from a slight difference in weight. I don't really know why they did that, but the Queen Meteor's pilot, Mrs. Arrow, is the wife of Super Arrow, who pilots the King Meteor, so... I guess they're like, hey, they're a couple, let's give them the exact same machine. It should be noted that Mrs. Arrow is superior to her husband in almost every respect, not only as a wife and a fighter, but as a racer as well. So, Firefield. Well, it is not as big of a headache as you might expect. It's got s the same song as Sand Ocean, which I don't really like. I mean, you, you, you couldn't come up with anything better than that. Background's nice. Right here, though, um, when you go off this jump here, you want to make absolutely sure that you pass over that zigzaggy part of the track down below. Because if you land in the zigzag part, you're just going to be, like, bouncing around everywhere. And you're going to lose a lot of health, and just, especially since the Queen Meter has such a low body rating. I've got to be aware of that. Fortunately, the pit area is right after the, um, oh. And you can also go off the track if you're not careful there, but it's not too big of a pain to just re-aim yourself. Uh, other than that, if you wind up having to go over the dirt there, you can boost across it. And this, I do not know why they saw fit to make you go airborne there, but, you know, try to land as soon as possible, because you'll just lose speed if you sit there in the air. Anyways, it's simple enough to take first place. Interesting to note that um, Zoda is in second place. Zoda is Super Arrow's arch nemesis. So. <laughs> so he's going to be right in front of me when the second course starts. Which means, as soon as we begin... Super Arrow's wife is about to has just accomplished everything Super Arrow has been attempting to do his entire life, which is, you know, beat Zoda. Anyways, I like the, I like the se second silence course because double kill! Uh, there's going to be a lot of destruction here. I love how this turned out. Especially since I just destroyed a second rival car and picked up an extra life there for five kills. And there's a 6 kill for knocking somebody off. And there's another kill and another exploded racer. And, uh... Oh, hey, is that the King Meteor right there? Yeah, it's going to get ahead of me. No, actually, we wait a little more. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm bouncing around too much and I have almost no life. <laughs> There's not much to say about the course otherwise. It's got this nice little spiral right here, and after that, it's kind of basic stuff. Hi, honey. Bye, honey. Mrs. Arrow just destroyed her husband's machine. <laughs> I do not know why that is so amusing, but, but you can see that we've got eight kills for this race. So cool. Wavy Road bit's not exactly a, a fun part to drive over, but that's okay. And I did not get first place, but I am fairly certain that with all of the machines I've destroyed that I will be perfectly safe in first place in the overall scores. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Antonio Guster? Since what is he... More irony that makes no sense to anyone except me. So, um, 
I mentioned Sector Beta before, and here it is. Which means we get to hear that uninspired song. I don't even think this song has a remix. Like, like there's a um, rock remix soundtrack, I think, of all of F-Zero X's music, but except for the Sector song, they didn't remix that one, I don't think. Maybe I just ignored it. I don't know what's up with the voice in that song either. But, uh... This course has a couple of sections without guardrails. Gotta be aware of that. And, oh, I almost fell off there. And we are introduced to Landmines. They've made a return from the Super Nintendo game. Except, uh, this time around, they just... Poor Dr. Stewart. This time around, the Landmines bounce you up and don't disappear after you hit them once. I got no real idea why they do that, but they still inflict a good amount of damage, so it's in your best interest to avoid them. Good thing the pit area comes right after it. Pit area comes right after the landmines, that is. Here they are. How did I not blow up that car? I should have, like, took in, taken enough damage from the... Well, he's almost dead, and now he is dead. Glad I picked that up. Even though I only get an extra life on the fifth kill. And, uh... Huh, was somebody flying just now? Oh, somebody is flying! That, that car flew straight off the course! Always amusing. Thank you, F-Zero-X. This has actually been more... F destroying cars in this game is actually more fun than I thought it would be. Like, you know, crazy stuff can happen. Soda and Pirate. Antonio Guster is still in first place. We're going to have to do something about that. Next up is Red Canyon 2. And it's... You know, all of the King Cup courses, they have w the one thing in common, and, that, and it's that a lot of destruction can happen. Because, you know, this course in particular is just so bunched up and uh, straight and narrow. So, you know, if I had the brains to spin attack and just let every machine bump into me from behind, then I couldn't throw myself into that bunch of machines there and just wreck everybody. I do recall on a failed attempt getting three kills with the same spin attack, so... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cooler if you actually saw it, but no, you don't get to see it. So much for that guy. This is a... Uh, that spot right before the decline is a place that you do not want to boost at because you know you'll go flying. And anytime you approach a downward slope, just you gotta be wary that you might go flying if you boost there or are going too fast. F Zero Physics 101. We should be able to take first place here. Ah, uh, but now the course is going to be littered with, uh, destroyed cars. Uh, gotta avoid those. There's only 18 racers left. Boost here, and that's another first place. And another instance of the announcer's announcing of your position being delayed because, I don't know, he has to wait until one voice clip is over with before saying something else. Something like that. Ah, <sighs> White Land. Well, let me clue you into something about White Land 2. Um... This course is basically one gigantic half-pipe. Well, part of it is. Now, 
ask anybody who plays this game, I guarantee you that nobody likes this course, myself included, because you can see that it's going to be difficult to hit the boost plates because everybody's kind of in the center of the half pipe and you have to maneuver around them, which means risking slipping off the track and falling to your death. It's not a very long course though. But you did notice that a couple of those boost plates were like, like um, on the very edge of the of one side of the pipe, like that one right there. That uh, you can, it's actually the course kind of leads you into picking up that one, but but uh, not this one. That's not a very fun way to try and hit. Of course, TASers have made a mockery of this course, and I guess I'm thankful for that, but. For this race, you really just want to focus on, you know, finishing the race. Like, don't forget first place. It's not going to happen. Let's see, I'm sliding around here all over again. At least I got the boost pad so I can get a decent finish here. Sixth place, that is too bad. I am somewhat worried about my position. Nope, if we finish first in the sixth and final course, we'll be we'll be through this no problem. And it's a third mute city course. You know, um, you don't have the Joker Cup unlocked by default, so you kinda so a first timer would probably think that the King Cup is the end. Uh, I don't see Mute City as a sort of course to finish the whole game on. No, it's not the end. There's still the Joker Cup. And it... So, Mute City 3 has jump plates, which I like, and you can even take shortcuts with them. Short, shortcuts. Not, not like anything big. But uh, this turns out to be a very easy course as a result because the computer... The computer's pathfinding doesn't take the jump plates into account, I guess is what was wrong. They don't use the jump plates to take shortcuts, is what I'm saying. They'll, like... Well, I'm not gonna exactly see any of them hit the jump plate, but... If they do use it, they probably wouldn't use the shortcuts like I am. So it's almost anticlimactic that I'm going to get first place. Yeah, if the announcer says that, I think he just said, it's pretty much a given that you're gonna win. Unless somebody catches up. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Didn't exactly look like I hit that dash plate, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, this is also the last Mute City course in the entirety of the game, unless somebody creates their own course and uses Mute City music. Which I would hope. I love this song. First place goes to us. Thir 29 points ahead of him, I think. Hooray! What is it with those double exclamation marks that I see sometimes? I never understood that. So many stars. So, how many machines did I destroy this race? The grand total comes to... 18! Same as the last Grand Prix. Gonna have to work harder to top it. Well, no big deal. Heh <laughs>
that thing in the background says great for some reason. What's our reward for all of this? A picture of Mrs. Arrow with her glasses taken off. Whoopee. She actually ditches the glasses in GX. With or without glasses, she still looks fine. And now it's time for Mrs. Arrow's top five eliminations of the day. Number five! Ouch. Number four! Oh, right before the finish line, that's got a sting. Number three! Yeah, careful where you boost there. Number two! Oh, just barely slid off the pipe there. That's why no one likes half pipes. And now the top one elimination of the day. At least let me finish the race, you jerk!